today we have a special guest with us, Alexis Rosado. She is an author, spoken word poet, CEO of Vision Whoa. Success Marketing. She does a lot, and we are great that you are grateful that you are here with us today. You've got you have an original piece that you wrote for us today about Christmas and distractions. You want to set it up and then and then give it to us. Let's do that. So. Yeah, I was asked to do a piece about distractions. And it's funny because as I was right, working on the piece, I was battling distractions. And so what I did is I made a list of what my top distractions were. And I noticed that most of them were emotional, like um, self-esteem, rejection, insecurity. And so even as I was writing the piece, it became very therapeutic. And so I went to scripture and was like, what does God say about this? And so this piece kind of showcases that internal conflict and what is the guiding light so there you have it left right green red do i stop or do i go do i know what's right from what's wrong is this the direction or am I lost? You say to follow the narrow road for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, but small is the gate, narrow is the road that leads to life and only a few find it. How can I find it? When distractions come my way, how can I find it? If I am lost and astray, how can I find it? I am away. This present day, cast away, swayed by the ways of this world. I'm distracted by TikTok. I'm distracted by what they said and what I've lost. I'm distracted by the voice that says I am not enough. I'm distracted by myself. Tossed. I'm distracted by TikTok. I'm distracted by what they said and what I've lost. I'm distracted by the voice that says, I am not enough. I'm distracted by myself. Tossed. Tossed by the wind and the waves. Tossed by the day-to-day -day disarrayed, locked away in my thoughts. Rejection pulls me and tells me I am lost. Insecurity pushes me into a place where I have fought for years, toiling with the concept of beauty, am I beautiful enough? Toiling with the desire for approval, have I done enough? I have entered the trap and now I'm consumed by fear. But how do I reclaim my focus, especially when there isn't praise and no one notices? Narrow is the gate, you say. A light at the end of the tunnel. Narrow is the gate, you say, but I don't know where I'm running to. I'm hit with diversions, disturbances, obstruction, intrusion, a hindrance, interference, perplexity, confusion. I'm shoved by self-pity and questions of my worth. I'm slammed by the lies I believe in my own hurts. I'm suffocating and drowning with thoughts around me on this earth. But as I swim, I see a guiding light. Truth says, let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you and seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all things will be added to you. No one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. Truth says there is a way to focus and look up and get out of this mess. Truth says, clarity is possible. Focus, believe. Truth says, I can withstand the confusion and find correct footing. You say, if I rest, I will fly on eagle's wings. But I'm afraid if I rest, I will lose everything. You say, if I rest, I will fly on eagle's wings. But I'm afraid if I rest, I will lose everything. Therefore, I've been distracted by the desire for approval. Then rejections trap me in and I don't feel approved of by you. So here is my honest lament and question. Will you help me seek first the kingdom and be my light in the midst of the distractions? Mm. Thank you. Mm.